Hi guys, Pete from Mixcat. First thing I want to do is thank everybody for all the support on this channel. It's grown immensely and I couldn't have done it without you. It's really crazy the amount of topics we've actually covered on this channel. First things first, I really can't emphasize how lucky I feel to be an American. There's so many things that we actually have here that people take for granted. Now I'm not saying everything's perfect, but we definitely have it a lot better than other countries out there. I don't know if you recall, but actually September I went to Ethiopia and had a great time out there. It really made me realize how great we actually have it and how silly it is to bellyache over little issues. The idea of our poor or less fortunate to actually be able to get food stamps and feed their family is just something that doesn't happen in other countries. And I've seen that firsthand in Ethiopia. we actually seen poor people withering away on the side of the road. And that's pretty hard to just let someone sit there and wither away. It's, it's surreal. Not only were people starving, but lots of people didn't have food or shelter. I gotta say hats off to the Ethiopian people over there. They are super hospitable to us and really treated us like family. They shared what they didn't have and it just, just we had an amazing time there. And it was amazing to see the women of the village actually walk miles to sell some firewood that they gathered uh, just to put some bread on the table for the family. And the other thing we couldn't overlook was just the scarcity of water. Now they don't have standard running water like we do here in the States. They actually have a, uh, like a collection cauldron that they go to, um, gather their water, fill it up in about four and a half gallon jugs, and walk it miles back to the house. And they do this daily. Not to mention that the water that they do collect looks pretty murky. Now, to be honest with you, I wouldn't drink it myself. What they need is a good water well and a collection method. Luckily, my partner actually found a not-for-profit organization that operates there in Ethiopia called Soliana Group, which this works out super for us where we don't actually have to reinvent the wheel, but we actually have talented people there at the location that can help us dig these wells. Right now we're setting up a project where we'll actually be able to provide water for 300 families. This is a pretty amazing undertaking and we'd like to do more projects like this. If you look in the video description, you'll see a link there that points back to my website and it'll give you more information about the undertaking that we're doing in Ethiopia. And if you'd like to be a part, you can also donate. And just so you're aware, I did open a 5013C just after I got back from Ethiopia called Ethiopian Axum Outreach. We're a not-for-profit company, and I assure you, every dollar that you send will make it over to Ethiopia and uh, put water in the cup for the Ethiopians.